Yo, yo. So, what is an axis? Have you ever seen a ball spinning on a fingertip? Think of a line drawn from the fingertip to the top of the ball. The line would be straight up and down. The ball spinning around this line is called an axis. An axis is a, is a real or imaginary line through the center of a spinning object. Okay, so imagine you have a ball. Have you ever seen how people use basketballs and just kind of turn them in their finger? Yeah. Okay, so that finger, imagine how this finger is right in the middle of the ball, right? So it can balance. And the ball is turning and turning and turning. So your finger is the axis in that ball, right? Mm -hmm. So the ball turns around your finger. You yes. can also think about a car. So cars have two wheels in the front and two wheels in the back, right? Two tires. Oh so yeah, something like this. So when it has to be in the middle, exactly. so it can really move. Something like this, so. Exactly like and that. And then it can move with some chips. Yeah, so that your um, pencil or pen, whatever it is, the white thing, that would be your axis, right? To the two tires. So that is what is in the middle and it helps them turn, right? Okay, so Earth is shaped like a ball. This shape is called a sphere. Earth also spins on an imaginary axis. As you can see here, Earth's axis is not straight up and down. It is slightly tilted. The North Pole is at the north end of Earth's axis. The South Pole is at the south end. So when did we read about poles? Do you remember? Mm, we didn't read about poles. Yes, we did. That's why I'm asking you. No, we didn't. I remember. Alita, Alita, I don't want you to answer this way, okay? Because it really gets tiring, okay? If I ask you something, I'm not going to ask you if you don't know, okay? Okay, so, so I'll remind can you give me a little clue? Of course, of course I can. See, that's a great way to answer. You can just say, I don't remember. Can you remind me? Of course I can. So when we talked about magnets, we talked about a north, a uh, north pole oh, yeah. and a south pole, right? Mm -hmm. And when we put two different poles, what would happen to those magnets? So if they use the wrong end, they were like having like sort of an invisible ball there. Exactly. But if you pull the good end, they will have no ball and they will stick you together. Exactly. Um, do you have a, uh, something like this? They'll stick together. Right. So when you have two different poles, they're going to stick together. When you have, you know, uh, the same poles, are that little ball is going to be there. So it's kind of the same with these two poles that are on the top of the earth and the bottom of the earth. Okay, so they're like just... This? Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so go ahead and read this, Alita, please. What is a axis? Is that right? Yes, that's right. Have you ever seen a ball spinning on a fingertip? Think of a line from the fingertip to the top of the bottom. The line will be straight up and down. The ball spins around with this line. This line is called an axis. Act is. Axis. 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 An axis is a real imagination line through the center of spinning object. Earth is shaped like a ball. This sh shape is called a sphere. Sphere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Ah. Uh, Earth also spins on an imaginary axis as you can see here earth axis is not straight up and down it's slightly tired the north pole is as a north end 
of the six axes. The south pole is at the south end. Okay, good. So imagine the top pole, which is the North Pole and the South Pole. Imagine that they make like this little line, like the one that you showed me with your pen. Okay, but it's kind of imaginary, so it's not actually a line that's keeping it together. And the Earth is just going to be around it like this. So it's just going to turn and turn and turn, kind of like you around think? around this thing. Like that. So is it like something like this? So. Kind of, yeah, kind of like that. So it, it, it's actually, this one's a little bit different because the earth is kind of like making like a circle around the line and it kind of twirls around it like this. 